Little confession, I'm not the biggest fan of bell peppers, but my dad's Young La Jiu. Chinese stuffed peppers are so tasty. This is one of dim sum's best kept secrets, and my dad's gonna teach us how to make it right at home, starting with the signature filling. Our filling will be made with fish and shrimp, so we'll peel our shrimp first. now for the fish part of the filling. We'll first cut the fillets into thin slices. Today we're using swai, but you can use any kind of flaky fish you prefer. The traditional fish used is meng yu, which is a specific freshwater mud carp native to China and Southeast Asia. Holding the cleaver horizontally, we'll carefully smash the fish down a bit at a time, creating a paste. After one round of smashing, we'll gather the paste into a smaller pile and smash it down again. After the second round of smashing, we'll start to chop. With the fish done, we'll move on to the shrimp. For the shrimp, we'll start off with smashing. No need to cut first. After smashing, we'll chop like we did with the fish. My dad smashes it one more time here to get a finer and stickier paste. We'll mix the fish and shrimp paste by folding one into the other, repeating, then smashing down like before. What other fillings can you use? Bakfaham. Bakfaham is ha and a little bit of 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 a for the marinade for the paste, we'll use one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of white pepper, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and two tablespoons of water. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step by step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. After mixing the marinade, we'll pour it into our filling. Now, 
咁但係佢哋會起膠噶啦。And then how do you ensure the meat is tender and juicy？ 凡係呢啲嘢，你要落啲生粉水去搞呢個肉啊嘛。咁咁先要滑又汁啊嘛。你冇水撈嚿肉，佢就永遠都係硬嘅。好嘢啊！而家有嘢啊！好啦，我而家。就落啲麻油上去，呢、這個靚女話唔食麻油，不起佢。We'll add about a tablespoon of sesame oil, then mix it in well. 俾張麻油要撈均勻嘅。OK， 搞掂。切辣椒之前咧，我就將啲擺落雪櫃，將佢擺落雪櫃咧，凍一凍佢，仲更加靚嚇。My dad's cleaning up the filling on the sides of the bowl and putting it back in the middle to prevent it from drying up or getting crusty. As he mentions, we'll carefully cut out wedges of bell pepper, keeping in mind we'll need to fill them. Is this dish traditionally made with bell peppers or chili peppers? 兩尊滿都得，尖嗰就辣啲嘅，咩都兩尊就唔辣嘅。廣東餐館就用用呢只。嗰啲尖嗰啲好辣啊 ，not everybody can eat it. 嗰啲尖嗰啲就睇你中意辣嘅咪俾佢咯。For the bell peppers, do you want it to be more on the big, medium, or small side? 都唔冇所謂，買翻佢買得嗰啲圓正嘅，唔好又扁又型嗰啲咧，改到容易改到一嚿嚿啊嘛。Once we have wedges, we'll cut them further into similar size curved pieces. 唔好話有啲好大，有啲好細咁樣，知道嘛？要切得靚，有有個刀喺度裝得到啲嗰啲肉個，知道嘛？你媽咪最中意食羊奶椒，成日叫我羊奶椒俾佢食。咁嗰啲細塊唔要。嗰啲嗰啲唔要，攞嚟煮第二樣嘢噶啦，仔嗰啲唔要噶啦。我準備準備今日真係羊仔十六嚿或者咁上下，要睇幾多材料夠唔夠。已經你反轉啦。即係知道佢係咁上下嘅。What would be a good substitute for bell peppers? Someone is allergic to them. Lingam, lotus. 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 Lingam, 佢作用咧就話嗰啲生粉可以吸乾呢度啲水，同埋可以黐住嗰嚿肉喺呢度。We'll sprinkle some cornstarch onto each piece of bell pepper。我而家咧就俾啲肉上去啦。Now we'll grab the filling from the fridge。少少油，唔好俾佢黐。好少，半個茶匙都唔夠。即係我等佢濕嘅匙羹，唔好俾佢黐住啫嘛。Now we'll scoop filling onto each piece of bell pepper, making sure to press down on the paste so it sticks on. My dad uses about a tablespoon of filling per piece, but it really depends on how big your pepper pieces are. How do you get the filling to stick to the pepper? The pepper here, you see the pepper, it's more than the pepper. This pepper, you don't have to cut it. If you cut it, you can't cut it. Do you know if you cut it? It's too easy to cut it. It's too easy to cut it. It's too easy to cut it. If it's too easy to cut it, it's too easy to cut it. Why do you have to cut it? 整平佢又容易煎啲啊嘛，我上邊就壓實佢，即係壓實佢就黐住嚿咁嘅，唔整平都冇所謂啊。反正喺底佢佢嚿肉喺底下煎嘅，佢都係會平嘅。There are countless varieties of stuffed peppers all around the world, from Mexico to Denmark to the Middle East. All of them feature a pepper stuffed with a hearty filling. The Cantonese version is called Yuring Lao Tzu, which typically includes a mild pepper predominantly filled with fish paste. My dad's recipe is a Chinese-American adaptation, which uses bell peppers instead of the traditional mainland Chinese Jinjiao pepper. Some recipes call for deep frying, but will be pan frying, which is both healthier and easier. Now we're done with filling all of our pepper pieces. Now my dad will show us what goes into the delicious sauce. 好啦，而家教埋佢芡汁先啊！煎呢個羊奶椒咧，就用豉汁，誒一個湯匙；蠔油咧，都係一個湯匙；生抽一個茶匙夠啦；糖咧，就一個茶匙；生粉一個湯匙；水四個湯匙。We'll mix the ingredients well, but my dad always values the appearance of his food. So， 如果咁嘅色咧，你認為佢唔夠嘅，你可以加啲唔知老抽落去，應該煮起上嚟咧，就應該夠質夠色嘅，唔需要好深色。加加少少老抽就 OK 嘅，半個茶匙夠啦
With all our elements prepared, we'll just need a flat pan to finally cook this dish. We'll place our stuffed peppers with the filling face down into the pan. We'll turn the heat from low to medium to start to cook the filling side. After cooking on medium for about a minute, we'll cover the pan with a lid. We'll let it cook covered for another two minutes. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. After two minutes of cooking with the lid on and occasionally moving the pan to make sure they're not sticking, we'll uncover and take a look. Now we'll start flipping pieces to check if the color of the filling is a golden brown. With the heat low or off, we'll flip the rest so the pepper side is face down. After a minute of cooking covered, we'll add something that will enhance the flavors. We'll add in about a tablespoon of cooking wine. Shirley from Patreon asks, how do you ensure that both the peppers and the meat are fully cooked? Let it cook covered with the heat off for one minute. Before we assemble the sauce, we'll remove the lid and plate all of the stuffed peppers. We'll pour the sauce we mixed earlier into the pan and turn the heat to high. We'll turn the heat to low once the sauce boils. What are some good sauces to pair with this? To make the sauce a bit thinner, my dad adds about three tablespoons of water here, but that's down to preference. We'll make sure to mix the sauce well so there are no clumps. Once the sauce is your preferred consistency, we can turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Or you can pour it directly onto the stuffed peppers if you're serving immediately. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right.